Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week, beauty, lifestyle, and Bible. So if any of that interests you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Okay guys, so today I have for you guys a chit chat, get ready with me. We're going to talk a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Things that have been bothering me on social media, this dumb virus, and just just, just things that, that kind of just irk my spirit. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into that. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in with my LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. So anyways, what, how have you guys been? First of all, let me ask you that before I go on tangent. How have you guys been during all of this? Are you guys able to stay home? Are you getting paid while you're at home? Are you working from home? Like, what are you guys doing? Like, how are things going? Um, Obviously, you guys know, like, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I was a stay-at-home mom before this happened. So the social distancing or physical distancing, as one of the ladies in my Bible study called it because she said you shouldn't social distance you could still be social just physically distance so i think they should have said like physical distancing i was a stay-at-home mom before all of this and i literally would not leave my house unless it was to go grocery shopping i mean there'd be some times where like me and my sister would meet up at a playground or something you guys please excuse my videos possibly for the rest of the existence of my channel Okay, so it's like I was saying, that doesn't really bother me. Okay, I'm gonna do the LA Girl Brow Pomade. But um, the only thing that's a little bit different is like now that Ethan's actually the age that he's supposed to be in preschool, even though he's way ahead of his class and some stuff, is that homeschooling, I've decided, I asked Brian because I actually have been wanting to homeschool for a while. And he was kind of like, no, like let's just let them do and he was like, no, like, let's just kind of just let them get through elementary. And then after elementary, you can homeschool. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Um, I wasn't for it. So I was still like, just trying to talk him into it and stuff like that. Like, just tell him like, you know, I really think if we're going to start at all, like, let's just go ahead and start. So with this whole no school, no work, well, Brian has to work. He is an essential employee. He actually makes like the hospital grade sanitizers and stuff and cleaning products. So that's what he does. So he is an essential employee. Um, but what I was saying is I told him, I said, if I can prove to you during this time that I am able to homeschool and Ethan is learning and the boys are learning. So I have went ahead and started like teaching Bryson and King. I have went ahead and started teaching Bryson and King as well. So I told him, I said, if I can prove to you during this time that I can homeschool and the boys are learning, can we just continue to homeschool? Like, can we not send Ethan back to school at all? And so we're going for it and we're just gonna see how it is. And one thing I've noticed, like even since Ethan's been home with me, is that his handwriting is starting to improve and it's starting to get a lot better. Now that's not a knock on his teacher. I understand there's a teacher, a teacher's aide, and then there's and then there's like 20 students per class. So that's 10 students that each teacher has to focus on. So I get that they don't have time to sit there with Ethan personally, just one-on-one. -on -one. And I'm sure it is easier to teach a right-handed student how to write easy than it is to teach a left-handed student how to write, considering that Ethan is left-handed. And even I struggled with that and I lost my patience at first too. But then Brian sat down with him and was like, Ali, like this is what's going on. He's left-handed. So when he writes, he has to have the lines on the paper or he writes it like sideways. So when he writes a C, it would look like an N because that's the way it's easiest for him to write. So we have to make sure that we have the lines on the paper and things like that and he's actually getting really really good at writing now so yeah but that's one thing brian doesn't stand for is bad penmanship but that's because like that's how his grandmother raised him i'm gonna go ahead and take my truffle therapy spray and just start praying oh no oh no i almost forgot everything else y'all 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 are y'all are just letting me do my makeup all in a weird order so wet and wild primer serum okay and then 
I knew I took it out. I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. Okay, so I actually got just recently ordered this from Ulta because right now they have their Ulta Beauty products buy two, get two free of what's not a part of the 21 day sale. And then like um, Makeup Revolution Pro is buy one, get one 50% off. And then Wet n Wild buy one, get one 50% off. And I think I said Ulta's two, buy two, get two free. So yeah, I got this Joyful Jelly Overnight uh joyful jelly overnight lip mask infused with macadamia oil so i just wanted to try this out i know it says it's a nighttime mask but my lips are dry all the time so it's weird because it's like you can't scoop it out and they don't oh it's kind of thick when you take it out in a good amount yeah you kind of got to scoop that out so i wish they would give you like a little scoop with it but they don't but i mean going in with the eyes i'm gonna just take this believe beauty concealer and prime my eyelids but anyways i was saying i'm super excited just to see if i'm successful at this because hopefully we can just go ahead and pick up and start homeschooling i think that that would be awesome even though pre-k is not mandatory I'm excited. One thing I'm definitely learning is that like every kid isn't the same and every kid doesn't learn the same. So you have to try different techniques to see which way they're gonna be able to pick it up. So that's why like I was really glad that I kind of like, like that they're home with me and I'm able to see like how Ethan learns and what's the easiest way for him to learn. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. palette and I'm just gonna use this cream shade to set that down. I went grocery shopping yesterday and I was pretty annoyed just because like, not only do I have to take my kids out and about with me, not only do I have to take my kids out and about with me because I don't have a sitter, like it's just me. So now that Ethan's home, I have to take all three of them with me when I go grocery shopping. But my family goes through a lot of milk. We get chocolate almond milk, regular almond milk, or sweetened almond milk, unsweetened almond milk. So the last time I went grocery shopping, they were like out of all kinds of milk and ended up having to get coconut milk. This week when I went grocery shopping, they had limits on like basically like everything. I guess this is the shade that I was supposed to sit down with in this. Oh, I picked up, also picked up this little Ulta Beauty Color Click eyeshadow trio. I just, I don't know. I've been really drawn to like a, I, cool tone eyeshadows lately so I just picked this up just to test them out and to test out Ulta Beauty's eyeshadow formula so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this brown and just slowly start putting that in my crease but yeah so they were they put a limit on their milk but usually I have to buy like four of three different kinds of milk so that's a four um half half gallons each of three different kinds of milk but since they have that limit where you can only buy two milks at a time like it just it threw off everything so not only was i already annoyed that like my boys were acting up and things like that but then i got annoyed because i was like okay like now because everybody wants to be ignorant and start panic buying like i don't even know why people started panic buying like dang just be clean whenever you go out and if you're sick don't go out ask somebody to go for you and help you there's way too many way but there's like way too many stores and way too many ways for you to order stuff that you don't have to panic buy you don't have to worry about going out like i don't get it i really don't and then it puts all of us who are sensible shoppers in a bind because you want to buy up everything because you want to act ignorant like dang like it, i don't know it just frustrated me because now no don't get me wrong we still had some milk but like now we're brian and i are gonna have to go out again to a different store to buy the rest of the milk that we needed because i was only able to pick up two and it's just i don't know it's, it's annoying i mean if people would just buy what they need every time they go to the store and they see it instead of bulk buying like we wouldn't be in this predicament for instance me brian and i are stocked up on water and toilet paper but it's not because i went to the store and bought 20 packs of toilet paper or 20 cases of water it's because every time i've gone to the store and it's been available and we have the money i pick it up like there's smart ways to stock up on stuff like you don't have to be so dang ignorant sometimes i need to find like a lighter shade but I don't think I have very many cool tone, cool tone eyeshadows. So maybe I'll just take this lighter shade that it came with and go above it and blend it out. 
Yeah, but like, I don't know. It's like Brian and I are completely good on everything in our household. And I, when I go grocery shopping, even though I, like I said, I buy a little bit of stuff that I know that we could use or preserve every time I go to the store and we have the money available and they have the product available, I will buy a couple. Like I won't buy crazy, but I will buy a couple. Sometimes this little thing shows me what the text says and other times, it just shows like a little envelope. So I am gonna go in and pack this on my lid, the pink shade. And this is why I haven't filmed because of these dang kids. Bryson cries about everything. And then Ethan gets frustrated with Bryson and he ends up yelling about everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this shade right here and then just start packing that onto my lid as well for a little shimmer shimmer. Yeah, but anyways, you guys like just be smart when you go out. Just shop like normal. The stores aren't closing. And if they do, every time you go to the store, just buy like one extra of something than you usually would or two extra of something that you usually would. Don't, don't buy 30 of one thing. Put everybody else that can't afford it or doesn't, or just doesn't panic in a bind because like you panic buy. Everybody else can't afford to panic buy. Some people have to wait till maybe twice a month or once a month to go get what they need. And if you panic buy everything because you can't afford it, like you're putting all of those people in a bind and then they have to risk going out more and more and getting exposed rather than just, I don't know, everybody is so selfish. I think that that's what this has really shown people is how selfish people are. Like everybody loves to put on a show like, oh, I would help the needy, da 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 But when it came time to actually help and think of others, everybody only thought of themselves. And that is annoying. It's kind of cute. I think that shimmer could have been a little bit better, but it's cute. How many of you like, I know I have a lot of Christian followers on here and I probably have some who don't follow the word of God, but one thing that's really bothered me is I'm seeing, and I don't, I'll never think that I'm above anybody else. I'll never think that I'm higher than anybody else. But one thing that bothers me is everybody being like, oh, I'll pray. And then everybody keeps posting the post from, I think it's Exodus or is it Kings or Chronicles? I think it's in the book of Chronicles. Everybody's posting that one scripture where it's uh, basically saying like if my people when I send a plague and I dry up the land and all kinds of like that's what it says and like but if my people will pray to me repent and turn from their ways that I will heal their land and everybody's like posting that but it's like everybody's doing the exact opposite of what it says it's like everybody's repenting and praying to God but nobody's turning from their evil ways and I'm just like guys like it's not I mean it is that easy but it's not that easy because trying to come out of a life of sin is hard and the devil's going to try to hold on to you and keep you in that life of sin but how many of you saw that the alcohol consumption has rised by 55 percent that means that more people are just sitting in their house drinking and i saw that there's even facebook like social media groups and stuff like that where people just get on there and drink together like to like to get drunk and i'm like that's the exact opposite of what that scripture is saying to do what god is trying to say is like everybody focus on me evaluate your life and get rid of all your wicked ways but nobody's trying to do that if anything everybody's just falling deeper into sin i was like and then i saw a post where it's like stores are selling out of condoms and i'm like first of all if you're married and this is just me we don't use condoms for one i'm not gonna have the devil play with my mind and things like that and two like i'm on birth control three if i get pregnant that's the lord's will so i don't know that's just so if you're not with somebody that you plan to be with the rest of your life, and that's why I say I never think I'm better than anybody because I used to fornicate. I used to live in a life of fornication. I could have, Bible would even classify me as a whore. I'm gonna pop these on and then I'll come back and continue. So I'm going to go in with my favorite foundation combo, um, Wonder Beauty Nude Illusion and Becca Ultimate Coverage. So anyways, like I was saying, I could have very well been considered, no, I could have. I was considered a whore in my past life and not in my past life but like in my life before christ and so that's why i don't ever put myself above anybody because i know where i've came from the only thing that separates me from the people who do that now is that i found christ 
So anyways, like I was saying, but I'm trying to say is that the only thing that separates them, me from them, is that I found Christ and I don't just pretend to know him. Um, do I know everything about him? No, I don't. And I'm still learning and that's okay. Um, there's a lot of people who don't know everything about him and this walk with Christ is always a learning experience. Until he comes back, I will still be learning. And so should you if you walk with Christ. Until he comes back, you should still be learning. If you ever get to the point where you think you know everything about the Bible and God's word, you're lying to yourself. And that is a lie straight from the enemy to keep you from growing. So, anyways, that verse in Chronicles, it says, Pray to me and turn from your evil, wicked ways. What that means is, come to God and leave your sin in the past. Does that mean that you will never sin again? No, that's not what it means. What it means is, you will fall, you come to God, you ask for forgiveness and you leave that sin where it's at. It's not saying you will never sin again. You will sin in different ways. But the goal is to not keep sinning and dwell in your sin. It's to pick yourself back up and stop. Oh, and that was, I'm actually trying out the Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow Concealer with Hyaluronic Acid. I wanted to try this one because they were original concealer. It says lightweight texture medium coverage luminous finish because their original concealer like it was a little bit too dry for me just a little bit but i thought i would i don't mind the coverage i don't need if my foundation's full coverage i don't need a full coverage concealer i don't mind it it's not terrible and it feels nice and lightweight yeah i think people post that scripture and they don't fully understand what it says like especially those who live in sin or a lot of people who depend on god and i'm just like i'm not saying god won't best bless you i won't i won't say god's not rooting for you because he is he is rooting for you to turn from your sin but you get a much faster and pleasing response when you turn away from your sin definitely made me super glowy in the areas where i put it <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. Oh, no, 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 I'm not, no, I'm not. Because I picked up this Ulta Beauty Stay Cheeky Liquid Blush and I have this one in Preppy Peach. So I'm just gonna squeeze some of this on the back of my hand and go in lightly. We'll just use the sponge. That's really pretty. I like that. I was sad because by the time I meant I bit the bullet to buy these, the one that I, the other one that I wanted was out of stock. But just a little, tiny bit more. I like this. Ulta Beauty has some hidden gems. You just gotta look for them and be willing to try them. Cause they have a lot of stuff that's not good. But they also have a lot of stuff that is good. Okay, going back in on the other side. Let's bend out this creasing. I wonder how that applies over powder. Maybe I'll try it that way next time. Going on with my Ciate London Extended Vacay Powder. So I'm honestly not going to put anything on my lower lash line. I'm just gonna apply mascara. So now I'm gonna go in with my Gigi Gorgeous Bronzer. So anyways, you guys, all I can say about this virus is Read your Bibles, pay attention, and just open your eyes and wake up. Like, wake up. Like, mm. God is coming back real soon. No, no man knows the time nor the hours, but there will be signs. And this is just the beginning of the birth pain, birthing pains. So, he's coming back real soon. And I'm not ready because I don't feel like I've done my part and I don't feel I'm just not ready. And I'm not saying knowing whether or not I will go to heaven or hell because I still don't know. I could do everything right and there could still be an issue in my heart where I fault and I could not make it to heaven. I would love to say that, yes, I know 100% I'm going to heaven. So anyways, yeah, y'all just need to be preparing y'all's hearts and preparing y'all's spirit. People are spending so much try time trying to prepare their house and they're forgetting that there's a bigger issue at hand. Well, 
like I got a little bit sloppy with the bronzer over here. Mm, can't tell because of the lighting. Just a little bit. I'll fix that. I'm gonna take my Lovecraft Beauty Blush and I'm gonna go in with this orange shade because it matches that blush that we put on. So yeah, guys, that's what my channel's here for, just to teach the woman, because I can't tell a man how God calls him to be. I mean, I could, but it's not right. But I can tell a woman what God calls her to be and how she can achieve that. Like I said, I'm not perfect. I still struggle, but the thing is that I try and I seek and I learn. And in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 6, it talks about how women will become ignorant. So they'll have all this knowledge and just choose not to apply it. And I feel like I see that in a lot of women that I knew from my past and it's, y'all, it's really not okay. Gonna try this Makeup Revolution um, Pro Supreme Highlighter in gold. Um, I'm gonna try this peach, I'm gonna try this peach shade, peach shade right here. Looks a little glittery. Oh, but it's really pretty. Okay, okay. Yes, I'm really needing a new organizing system because it's so full. Yeah, or I just need to get rid of some stuff that I don't use, like, ever. Okay, I'm gonna take that same shade and apply that to the inner corners. It looks a little bit too warm. I'm gonna add some of this white. Really deepen this up. And now I'm going to take my LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner. So that lip liner was in the shade Blushing, and now I'm gonna take, so now I'm gonna go on with my Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick in the shade, in the shade Chic Got Real. Chic Got Real. Don't be thinking I'm cursing. I don't usually like these tones just cause they make my teeth look super yellow. I mean, it's cute, it's pretty. I'm going to set, and I have this. <sighs> okay, so now we're going to set our face. I have this Hydra Mist Fixing, Hydra Matte Fixing Spray. So you guys know the routine. I was just intrigued that this said Hydra Matte, so it's hydrating, but it's matte. And I was just like, okay. Let's go ahead and set these brows before I forget. It smells exactly like the one I already used from them. Like exactly like that one. Okay, I'm gonna do something with this and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this was the makeup look I was able to create with some of, some new products. Of course, a lot of my faves is testing out so testing out some of these products again for a second time. So like this, is that it? Is that the only thing I'm testing out for the second time? <laughs> oh, I already knew I liked the Essence Make Me Brow. This blush ended up being super pretty, you guys. This palette is not bad. I feel like mm, the shimmer could have had a little bit more oomph to it, but I could have just sprayed it. Highlighter palette, beautiful. Of course, I'll have to keep playing with this to see what kind of results I get from it. I know I like pretty much everything else. Like, I know I like this spray smells exactly like the one I already have. So I'm kind of like, is it the same thing? Just up priced and that's why you can't find the other one that I have anymore. So I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. So anyways, but yeah, you guys, like that's it for today's video. Um, we'll see how this makeup wears. I will, I do have my life proof foundation routine up. So that flashes you through pretty much everything. So check that out. Um, also, my sister has started a YouTube channel here on YouTube and I will link her in the eye above. And also I will leave her down below, check her out. She does more mom stylish type videos. So like cook with me's, clean with me's and a bunch of DIY craft stuff and for kids and adults and just a lot of different stuff she does on her channel. She's gonna do some get ready with me's but she keeps on the like beauty's not like her cup of tea to sit there and teach people cause she's learning from me. So yeah, go ahead and check out her channel and you guys just get really serious about these end times and about the rumors because the Bible does warn of that. It does say that there will be signs 
and I'm seeing signs. And so you guys, it really is time to get serious about that. Turn from your sin, start going in deep and hard with Christ. And yeah, so I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.